Alright guys, part three of this um, video tutorial series. So, we are into the replay info now. Um, <clears throat> the general overview for the replay engine is that, um, you know, on a per player basis, like how I said that this uh, menu is, you know, available per player, on a per player basis, I can have them be recording button inputs um, or playing button inputs back or do nothing. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like this. Um, so player three, I want this player three CPU to just chill for a sec. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make him controlled by a human player two. So basically no one's going to be controlling him right now. Uh, going to go back to player one, me, uh, and <clears throat> I am going to, so first option in the replay info is your replay state, off, recording, or in playback. Um, so I'm going to move it to the right to recording. Now, you must ingrain this in your head. Anytime you are starting a recording, you save a state. Uh, normally, that would be your major save state. So do a major save state anytime you start a recording. You're going to forget, and it's going to bite you in the ass later. But um, you eventually, you know, it, it eventually becomes like habit. Um, so I'm going to start a recording and D pad right to save a state. Um, and then you can see, I'm going to advance one frame here, um, not do a button input. But you can see this, uh, these, the options here in the replay info for current frame and end frame. That's, um, you know, talking about the replay, like what frame of the replay on and um, basically how long your replay is, like the end frame of your replay. So um, it's not like necessarily like overly important information, but... But it's red right now because I'm not recording. But if you know, I turn my recording, my replay state to on, which is recording. Um, let's just go one frame. You know, this is now orange. So orange kind of designates. Oops, orange kind of designates that it is either recording or it's in playback mode. You know, like something's happening with the replay. So I am recording now. <clears throat> um, you know, and I could have input something in that last frame that would have been recorded, but, you know, I didn't. I just wanted to show you the orange. Um, so, you know, this is, and I can record advancing frame by frame right now if I want. You know, like, let's do, um, uh, I'm going to press Y and D-pad down, you know, because I'm in develop mode now to bring back up the action state. This is when the action state, um, action state display and the frame advance um, is really, really cool. I mean, in combination with the replay system and the save states, you can basically do um, like TA, you can make TAS recordings. I mean, and X and D pad right brings up your Magus um, physics display stuff. So like my joystick input is down there. So like you can pretty much legitimately do like TAS uh, replay recording. Um, I'm going to turn this off, though, for now. So, <clears throat> so bring that back up. I am recording. Um, so let's do, like, t you know, like a multi-shine real quick. Um, okay. And then I am going to just... Uh, Wave dash. Oops. Um, okay. Anyway, um, you know, so I recorded that that uh, multi shine, <clears throat> and then you know I'm still recording. I'm just kind of doing this. I kill myself. Uh, go over up smash more. All right. Um, so now you know I just hit start to develop. Uh, pause it. Um, D pad down. So you know I'm still recording. I'm on frame 833 in my replay. Um, but let's say I'm done with that, you know, and that was, and what I just recorded there, you know, it was a mix of frame perfect and not frame perfect. 
uh, you know, frame improvement. Again, it's just, you know, it was a mix of develop mode and then also just, uh, you know, free play or whatever. So I'm going to return, I'm going to specify player one to instead of be recording now, be playback. And when I want to, um, you know, playback for my replay, I need to go back in time to the beginning of, you know, I need to go back to frame zero. And how do you do that? With your save states. So I'm in playback now. I'm going to hit D-pad left to go back to you know frame negative one. Uh, I'm going to take away my menu and then just hit start. And you know it's now playing back my uh, my inputs. So I'm going to kill myself. Go up five times more. Okay, and um, so if I pause now, um, you can see I'm I'm in playback still, but the current you know the current frame here is past the end frame of my replay. So there's no button inputs to actually give the player. So when when that occurs, you know I'm still in playback. Um, it just gives control back to uh, the player. So I can you know sit here and do this this, and then when I load state back, I'm still in playback. You know, and I go back to to frame zero in my replay. So, pretty cool. Um, now, you know, the other cool thing, um, you can, you know, you can watch your replay, um, you know, in frame advance or whatnot. Um, you know, in like right here, I am about to kill myself. I think I grabbed the edge. Yeah. So I grab the edge. I'm about to kill myself. Um, so let's just like let's just change my replay from this frame going forward. So instead of playback, let's go to recording. So now I'm recording again. Uh, I mean, cliff catch. Hard for you guys to see now. Cliff wait. Uh, I'm gonna let go of the edge. Do a ledge dash. Not a okay, and I messed that up. Okay, still a horrible one with a shine after it. Uh, let's make it a double shine. All right. And then just gonna weird dash out of that. And run over and up smash him. Okay, so I was recording all that. Let's change it to playback. And let's load state again. So I have my mess up. My kind of bad one, my double shine. Well, so, um, okay, so let's let's load state again real quick. And so we have save state major. We also have save save state minor. So I just saved the save state minor there while it was jumping. And I can like, you know, now I can go back in time to like the middle of my replay, you know, or just or whenever my second save state was. So that's where these these safe states these the set, having multiple safe states really comes in handy because you can have your major safe state be your like anchor you know always at frame zero and then you can use your minor safe state to um, you know kind of critique your replay a little bit um, you know and change you know and change it append it you know whatever um, so that's a very uh, you know, quick general overview of the replay system. Um, next, we will be talking about the various flags down here um, and their purpose, how to use them, um, and how to get the full functionality on them. So, this is the end of this part of the tutorial series.